Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 23rd of 2020. Well, it is titled the Helix Nebula from Blanco and Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, this is the planetary nebula known as the Helix Nebula. And a planetary nebula is what occurs at the end of the life of a star much like our own sun. And what happens when a star reaches the end of its life is that the core compacts down to a very dense object called a white dwarf at the center of the helix here. And the outer layers are expelled out into space. So the core ends up being a very compact object, extremely massive still, but that compressed down to about the size of the Earth. The remaining material the outer layers are then expelled out into space. And because that white dwarf star is so hot, it energizes and excites all the gases and causes them to glow for a short time, maybe only 10,000 years or a few tens of thousands of years or so. Uh, so it's a relatively short period of a star's life at the very end. Eventually, all that will be left behind is the white dwarf star itself. Now, one of the things that's interesting to study is that planetary nebulae come in a wide variety of shapes. So how did something like this form from a single star and single ordinary star? So this could be something like what our sun will look like in five, six billion years or so when it ends its life. We see not just the helix with the spirals, but we do see a couple of different disks that are perpendicular to each other, as well as all sorts of other features within this that are very hard to explain from just a single star. Now we do know, of course, that it happened because we can see that it exists here. But understanding exactly why it happens is still a, a topic of research by astronomers to try to understand how things like this can form. So astronomers look at all sorts of planetary nebulae. And in this case, looking at it with two uh, objects, the Hubble Space Telescope up in orbit above the Earth, and a telescope down in Chile about four meters inside known as the in size known as the Blanco Telescope. So looking at those two and able to put all of that information together helps us to understand a little better, maybe what will happen at the end of the life of our own sun. So not something that we know for sure. And looking at different planetary nebula, we don't completely understand that process yet. We can see what happens, but we don't understand exactly what goes into it and what happens within the star that causes all of the different shapes of planetary nebulae that we see. So that was our picture of the day for August the 23rd of 2020. It was titled the Helix Nebula from Blanco and Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a rounder moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.